Hey, you guys, welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. My name is Princess, and you are now in the Princess Lifestyle. So, today, you guys, we are getting into some things. I decided to do a hair and makeup transformation. Now, I used to do these videos often on my channel back when, you know, I had time but I'm trying to get back into it. Now, one thing about me is I love hair. I love changing up my looks with my wigs and all of that. And I've showed you guys at least once before how to install wigs, but I think I'm going to go ahead and um, just include my whole process of getting ready in my videos because some of you are still asking me in my DMs, you know, how I put on this wig or how I put on that wig, what products I use and what my overall process is. So this is how I install my wigs. I don't use glue very often. What I'm using here is got to be um, spray to lay down my real hair, my edges. I corn rolled my hair. If you were on my Instagram, then you already saw me corn rolling my hair on my Instagram stories and getting exhausted, okay? Listen, I can't wait till this quarantine is up so somebody can come do my hair. But anyway, the next step that I do after I slick back my edges and put on a wig cap is if necessary, I go ahead and put some foundation on the lace of my wig. Now, you guys have heard me talk about this wig that I have at least once before. The quality of this wig is so awful, so trashy, but this is how you turn lemons into lemonade, okay? Because this wig is really bad. Um, the lace on this wig is extremely thick. The lace on this wig does not tint. You see how light it is. You can see the the lighter parts of the, the lace on the other side, and you can see it's super light in comparison to me and in comparison to the parts that I put foundation on. I will tell you, one mistake I did make was putting the wrong color foundation on. I used, um, what's that foundation called? My Maybelline 24 hour foundation because that is a perfect match to me usually if I'm not, um, you know, tan. But I used that instead of using a shade that is one shade darker than my skin tone. And I've talked about this before, but I will say it again. The best shade to use if you have to use foundation on your lace, if your lace is not dark enough for your skin tone, or maybe it's too dark for your skin tone, the best shade to use is a shade that's that's the color of your contour. Not quite, not exactly the same color as your contour, because if you're contouring, you're gonna use a cool tone, and I'm not a cool tone by nature. But you want to use a shade that is that is one shade darker than your natural foundation shade. And that is the mistake that I made here, but I am gonna show you guys how to go ahead and correct it. So we're just installing the wig now. You guys saw me use um, the free spray to slick back my edges. Then I will go ahead and go in with my got to be gel. You can either use the yellow bottle or the black bottle. I prefer the yellow bottle. I feel like the hold for the yellow bottle is much stronger than the black one. So that's what I'm using. And then I put two layers of that gel down. I don't really wait for it to dry. I just make sure that I put a thin layer of each. And then I spray the free spray on top of that gel. Then I get my blow dryer. I blow dry it for probably about, I'd say about 20 seconds. And once it's like, 50% to 75% dry, that's when I begin to lay down my wig because I know that my wig is going to be able to stay on its own because it's it's the products, the gel and the spray, it's, it's getting to the point where it's gonna be able to set. So as you can see, it has set pretty well on its own, but I'm going to take my blow dryer on cool setting and my blow dryer has been on the cool setting this entire time. You don't want to put it on the heat setting. For me, that can make me feel like I'm about to sweat, make my body temperature rise and make the wig slide off. And here's the, the, the point where <laughs> I realized that the foundation was too light. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in the shade 490, which is one shade, exactly one shade, I believe, darker than my skin tone because I wear 470. I'm taking that foundation 
and I'm applying it to all of the exposed areas of lace. And now you can see it blends perfectly with my skin. It just melts right into the skin and that is because it is melting into the perimeter of my head as opposed to my overall look. My overall look is a 470, which is lighter than 490. But the perimeter of my head, like I have a natural, a natural highlight and contour situation going. You can see the perimeter of my face is dark, uh, not including the um, the scarring that I have on my cheeks. But the perimeter, my forehead is dark, so it is wise to get a shade that is dark like your forehead. Whatever shade your forehead is, that is the shade that you should apply. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into makeup. I am doing my face for the first time on YouTube. I am using my BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm for April came and you guys, I am loving it. These Hank and Henry sponges, I was trying to show you guys how bright it is. It's this bright neon color and the sponges are so freaking good. I don't know why, I don't know if it's the shape or it's the, 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 the texture, I don't know, but I really, really love these Hank and Henry Midori sponges. So I'm using my Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask as a primer actually, or as a moisturizer, but also as a primer. And then after this, I'm gonna go in with my Benefits. This is my first time using Benefits primers, mind you. I'm gonna be using my Benefits Professional Hydrate primer. This is my first time using the primer and I must say I was expecting I was expecting to get a lot more oily a lot faster with using this primer. It's a hydrating primer, but if you know anything about skincare, then you know that it's hydration and um well, hydration that that combats oiliness. It's it's weird but it makes sense. So now I'm going in with my Too Faced foundation. First, I'm using the shade Sable to conceal and correct um, the any scarring or hyperpigmentation that I have on my skin. You guys already know, I do this all the time. And I'm also going to be mixing a dabble of the Sable shade with the shade Tiramisu. Tiramisu is a really good shade for me, a really good shade for my all over complexion, but it's too yellow for my complexion. I think one of you guys also commented that, who was it? Let me see if I could pull it up really quick. One of you guys actually commented that on my last video. Oh, Bisola Adeji. Hey, Nigeria. Well, she commented, I found Tiramisu being too yellow for me. So I agree with you. I need something darker or the same shade with a less yellow undertone. You are the complexion queen. I love your video. So I love you too, girl. I completely agree with you. Um, tiramisu has too much yellow in it. So mixing a drop of Sable, which is actually one shade darker than Tiramisu, which is my, my shade for summer, it actually matches me perfectly. So that's why you guys see like a, a perfect complexion, perfection situation going on here. You guys know I am the complexion queen. I have self-titled myself that, but you guys seem to agree. And anybody else that comes on my YouTube page or Instagram page seems to agree. So listen, I know complexion. I don't know everything in the world, but princess knows complexion and this Too Faced foundation is one of my favorites. It gives good skin, okay? So now let's move on. I'm also using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I'm using the shade Mahogany, I believe. If it's not Mahogany, then it's Chestnut, one or the other. But I love using this shade. It's pretty, um, not yellow, but it is very golden. And I just love the combination of the golden Ness of this concealer mixed with the red, rich red undertones of my foundation combination. I just love how that looks. It gives me such a, a naturally bronzy look. Like it looks very, 
vacation ready. If you have a warm undertone like me, then you should try this method of mixing red and golden undertones together. I just love the way it looks. It might not be correct in terms of color theory. I really don't know. I've never studied color theory. I just have an eye for makeup because I've been doing it for so long. But I just love the combination of the colors together. You know what I'm saying? It just looks very good. It looks sun-kissed, it looks warm, it looks bronzy, and it's very easy to accidentally go for an ashy tone when you're a dark-skinned girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour. I'm using my Huda Beauty Tantor, and I'm using the shade Tan. You guys know that this is one of my favorite Huda Beauty products. Um, I won't say that it's an essential product, but once you purchase it, you won't put it down. Like once you actually buy it, if you want to buy it, once you actually do, it will become your go-to and it will become an essential for you. But if you already have something to contour with, by all means, go ahead, go ahead and cream contour with that. But if you buy this, I promise you, you won't put it down because it's so convenient. It blends out beautifully and it works as a contour and a bronzer. I don't know if it can do that for everybody, but I know it definitely does it for me. I'm using the shade Tan. I think this is the darkest shade. I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I think this might be the darkest shade and it is an excellent contour, okay? So I'm blending all of these, um, all of this contour out with my dual ended or dual sided Huda Beauty uh, blending brush. You guys see me use this. Every time I pick up that Tantor, I also pick up this brush because it blends out the product flawlessly. And this is also my favorite part. I don't know what it is about blending that's just so therapeutic to me, but placing products down onto my face, like smearing my foundation on my face and, and gliding the concealer across my under eyes and, you know, dabbing the contour on. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just love doing that. It's very therapeutic to me. Um, and honestly, we all need some therapy in our lives right now with this quarantine and everything. And it just makes me feel good, you know? It just makes me feel relaxed. I guess it's because it's um, like something that I know. It's like a ritual that I know how to do. It's something that I automatically always know how to do. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything. I'm using my Holy Grail Laura Mercier powders. I'm using the shade Translucent first. So I don't know if I should call this shade. I'm using the my Laura Mercier Translucent setting powder first. And that's gonna go in my under eyes. It's gonna go above my lip. It's gonna go on my chin a little bit. It's gonna go on my forehead. And I am going to place it on my nose um, toward the end. And while I'm placing this um, on my under eye area, I am getting some of that powder onto my nose just to um, help out with the contour. I am gonna do an updated highlight and contour routine. You guys know that I do, I change up my routines often. I change up my routines, shoot, I change up my routines at least monthly. No, at least like every two months I change up my routine. So I am gonna, not even every two months, literally monthly, because you know I'm always learning new things and trying new things, and something may work this week and something may not work the next week. So I'm all about learning and growing. So I'm gonna give you guys an updated routine, but I am taking my Laura Mercier Medium Setting Powder, and I am putting that onto my jawline area, and I'm not leaving that on for long at all because I am a dark-skinned woman. That powder may be dark, but it's not my kind of dark, okay? It's not it's not princess chocolate, you feel me? So I don't leave that on for long. I literally just put that on to carve out my cheekbones and to set that area with a color that's just, just light enough to give a, a, a pop of the jawline. So here I am, I'm just, you know, putting down that, what is it called? That translucent setting powder onto my nose. I'm gonna leave that there for a little while just so I can get some good structure, a good strong bridge to my nose. You guys, I really talk like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I really do, I, I, I just be talking sometimes, but I know what I'm talking about the majority of the time. 
eventually I know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I'm gonna leave that there on my nose to get a good bridge going, get a good strong bridge. And I'm dusting everything off, okay? So now we can go ahead and set the contour and I'm gonna be using my Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette. You guys already know, I use this palette often when I want to um, contour. I use it to set my contour. I, this palette is very versatile. You could use it in any way, shape, or form, but I love to use that palette to contour my nose and to set my cheek contour. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm putting it on the jawline, the chin, the cheekbones, the forehead, and just anywhere that I had um, my contour initially. Anywhere that I put that Huda Beauty Tantor, I'm using my Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette to set. All right, is that okay with you guys? Because it's surely fine with me. All right. Anywho, let's move on. I am getting a good bronze, a good warmth going using my Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy. You guys already know Mocha Mommy is, it's just my thing, okay? It's my thing. I haven't put Mocha Mommy down since it was released to the world, all right? Mocha Mommy is my thing. So here I am. I'm mocha mommying my life away. I'm making sure that I warm up all the areas of my face. And I am, I have taught you guys this trick before, but I'm gonna reiterate it for anyone that's new. I am gonna take the excess contents of whatever's on the brush, and I'm gonna dust that over my whole entire face. It may not be obvious that that's what I'm doing, but it is what I'm doing. I'm See, I'm, I'm getting it everywhere. I'm just giving a good warmth to the skin, all right? So now we can go back into our boxy charm. I'm going to be using this Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette. And you guys, this is my first time using Zoeva shadows, but I've heard good things about their shadows for years. I was so freaking impressed. I'm carving out my brows right now with that same Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And I'm also gonna use it as an eyelid eyeshadow base, just to um, have something for the eyeshadow to stick to. I, me personally, I wouldn't recommend using this shade in particular. If you want, if like if you're using bright colors or something, I wouldn't recommend using this shade. It's not, it's not gonna help. This is a shade to use if you don't really care if you're doing um, a bronzy look like I'm doing or something neutral, this shade will be fine. But if you're doing something with real colors in it, you need to go up several shades and you need to not use something that has a super golden undertone. You want something cool, something with a grayish type of undertone. So anyway, I'm just putting some warmth in the crease. I believe the shade that I used was Grateful from the Jaclyn Hill palette, although I didn't show it. I'm pretty sure that that's the shade that I use. That Jaclyn Hill palette, you guys, I really like that palette. I really, really do. If you do pick up that palette from um, Morphe, make sure you use code GLAMFAM497 so that you can get $5 off your purchase. And that is code GLAMFAM497. Four nine seven. I also have it in the description bar. So I'm just taking um, that shade Grateful from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just warming up my crease. And then I'm gonna go into my Zoeva palette and I'm picking up this cool toned chocolate tea type palette. It's a very cool toned shade. So I'm popping that directly into my crease so that I can have some definition so that this look can be easily pulled together with whatever I put on my lid. So here we go with the lid color. I decided to use that really pretty shimmery red, berry, raspberry type shade. And you guys, it is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Like I didn't even put that much color onto my finger to pick it up. But you know with um, shimmery shades like this, it's always best to apply it with your finger. That gets the most product, it gets the most color payoff, and it just looks better when you apply it with your finger. So I'm also taking that really pretty shade, it was like a golden shade, and I'm popping that 
in my inner corner, but I'm dragging it outwards. And I'm using lashes by Strip Club Lashes in the style Lex. Putting those on really quick. It's a nice, um, subtle lash. And then I'm gonna take that same dark shade and I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line um, in combination with my Huda Beauty Life Liner. You know, that's a dual-ended liner. So it has a liquid liner and it has a coal liner. So now we can get into the hair, you guys. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm using this um, flat iron, curling iron. I don't even know what to call it, but it's from a company called Crystal Beauty. It is literally the best flat iron I've ever used in all my days, okay? It comes with a little bag carrying case. It comes with a glove. It comes with um, a holder to prevent yourself from burning yourself. And it locks, as you can see, it's locked right now. But look at the curve, look at like the swivel. I'm about to unlock it. Yeah, that's how you unlock it. Look at the swivel of this flat iron. Like, can we just, at first I didn't know the reason for the swivel, but then I, I, I looked back at the description, I was like, okay, so it swivels so that it can act as a hair straightener and a curling iron at the same time. So that's what this is, it's called the Crystal Beauty two-in-one curved hair straightener. And on the screen, you can see that it's Celsius. It's like the, the degrees is measured in Celsius, but all you have to do is double tap the power button that's on the inside and it changes to Fahrenheit. So this um, straightener, this curling iron, curling wand, <laughs> flat iron combination situation, it, um, it works everywhere. So it works out of the country for those who go by Celsius and it works here in the States for those who go by Fahrenheit. So I told you guys that this wig is, you know, this is, the, the quality of this wig is frightening. I know it looks good, but I'm just really good at making things look good. The quality of this wig is legit frightening. So I didn't turn the flat iron up too, too high because I knew that the style that I was going for, it's not gonna require the hair to be super bone straight. So I turned up the flat iron to like the middle temperature. Um, I think that was like 350. Yeah, I turned the flat iron up to 350 and look, look at that, you guys. So this is, um, it's a tourmaline flat iron, right? Usually flat irons are like ceramic. There are tourmaline flat irons, but there are ceramic also. And ceramic irons get super hot. Tourmaline irons get even hotter. And the best part about tourmaline irons is it's hot on the inside. Like it's hot where the plates are, but it's not hot on the outside. If you guys uh, were paying attention, I was like touching the flat iron when it was on and I was holding it from the outside and gripping it in my hand but it wasn't burning me because how, however the science works with tourmaline flat irons and this flat iron in particular, it keeps the heat of the flat iron inside. It does not burn you. And you guys have seen me time and time again on camera and off camera burn myself with a flat iron, a curling wand, a blow dryer, whatever. I'm always burning myself. So for this flat iron to protect me like that, Listen, it, it's, a, it's an A plus for me, okay? So again, I told you guys already, but this flat iron, I did not turn it up to the max. I turned it up halfway to about 350 degrees and it's flat ironing it like it's, like it's legit at 400 and something degrees, but it's not, I swear, it's at 350. So the whatever it is that they're doing to target the heat in this particular flat iron and this is by crystal beauty however it is that they they make the heat stay in one place makes you able to flat iron your hair in like half the time literally like half the time so for me it usually takes me especially if the wig is on my head like i don't like doing my my hair with the wig on my head. I like doing the hair on a mannequin head because it's just easier. If I'm doing my hair on my head, it takes me probably like two and a half hours, two to two and a half hours to straighten my hair. It legit took me 
I'd say about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to straighten my hair. And I wasn't even paying attention. I was watching TV. I was kikiing with you guys on Instagram. I was dilly dallying a lot of the time. So it takes such a small amount of time to flat iron your hair with that flat iron. I don't know what it is, but Crystal Beauty, listen, you, you got me. You got me, okay? So I'm just trying to finish up the look. I used a Dose of Colors lipstick that was in my BoxyCharm, and I didn't really like the color that much. Mm, it, it gave me very much so like five to seven years ago type situations for the lips. So that's why I went ahead with a gloss on top. I just wasn't really feeling fully the lip color. I don't know but the gloss on top really did it for me. So I'm using my Morphe highlighter palette. And remember you guys can use code GLAMFAM497 to get $5 off your Morphe purchase. And I'm going in with this Morphe highlighter palette. I've had it for a while, but I never used it until today. And I am super impressed. Like I was thinking this highlighter palette was gonna be super chalky, but it is not. And it gives you room to build it up. Didn't build it up too much with this because I knew I was going in with my Artist Couture Loose Highlighter in Coco Bling, baby. So <laughs> you guys know Artist Couture's highlighters are potent. So I'm taking Coco Bling, which is a silvery type of pearlescent highlighter that most people would say, oh my gosh, Princess, you're dark skin. You shouldn't be using a pearl. You shouldn't be using a silvery type shade, but you know, princess doesn't follow rules. Princess does what princess wants to do. So I, per usual, make it work. Not even make it work. Coco Bling is one of my favorite highlighters. I use it and it looks good. It does work for dark skin. It does work for me. It looks sensational. Okay, so now we can go ahead and style the hair because I wasn't gonna just, you know, I wasn't gonna just straighten it and leave you guys stranded, you know. I wanted to do something cute. I didn't really know where I was going with this, but I knew that I wanted my hair to be up. Like I knew that I wanted to wear this wig, like, you know, like it's growing from my head, you know? So I decided to start with the ponytail. That's where we're going right now. I knew that I wanted um, two pieces of a bang situation going. And I knew I wanted, you know, some little hair by my ears, but I just didn't know where to go from there. So we're just gonna do the ponytail first, and then we're gonna put some curls in these bangs, okay? We're gonna take it back to the early 2000s, but first I am gonna take some bobby pins and pin the back of the wig down. Now, I know how to install wigs, but I have yet to try actually installing the back of a full lace wig and honey, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I'll ever. But I'm taking my Crystal Beauty two-in-one hair straightener and I am curling. I've never been able to curl with a flat iron, you guys, ever in my life. I've never been able to curl with a flat iron. This flat iron is just so freaking good. I think it's the swivel. I think it's the swivel. And you know, I didn't say this before, but there are also combs like attached to the flat iron. You guys probably can't see it, but there are combs. I don't know if you noticed before, there are combs attached to the flat iron that actually comb the hair while you're flat ironing it. It combs the hair while you're curling it. I don't know, this, this Crystal Beauty, what is it called, two-in-one straightener? It's so freaking good, but I am gonna keep using it and give you guys an updated review so that you can know if it's still good, if I'm still loving it and all of that stuff. So just stay tuned. I am, um, I'm gonna make a video today and we're gonna use it again. I don't know what style to do, but I put on this shirt and I was like, listen, I'm about to channel my sensei, okay? Cause I did take Japanese back in, um, college even though this is Chinese on my shirt <laughs> it's definitely Chinese not Japanese but I was just channeling them okay and I love the look that I created I wasn't gonna um 
I wasn't gonna do the bun, but then I was like, listen, this is doing something. This top knot is giving situational situations right now, and I love it. So I don't know what to tell you guys. I look great. This Crystal Beauty two-in-one straightener, hair straightener. Yeah, I got the name right. It's the Crystal Beauty two-in-one hair straightener. So freaking good. The fact that it, it is impossible for it to burn me, amazing. The fact that it has that swivel so it, it acts as a curling iron also, amazing. The fact that it has combs attached to the flat iron, honey. That, I can't wait to straighten my natural hair. So anyway, you guys know, I love a good satin silk robe situation. I love some diamonds, even though these are not yet diamonds. One day I will have me some diamonds, honey. And I was just giving very much so Elizabeth Taylor, okay? I was giving you guys Elizabeth Taylor, White Diamonds, 1991. <laughs> was I even born when that commercial came out? I don't know, but I remember that commercial. I loved that commercial. I told you guys on Instagram, I used to dream of having a castle on the Amalfi Coast, which I will one day in Jesus' name, but yeah. This is the look, you guys. I hope you loved it as much as I do. Um, check out this Crystal Beauty 2-in-1 Curved Hair Straightener. I am gonna leave a link to it in my description bar. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, talk to me in the comments. I love you guys so much. Goodbye.